Hello again. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the other suggested topic that I gave you for the argument essay, which has to do uh, with coronavirus and some of the problems around that, right? Um, so I have a couple of videos now where I talked about college, right? Uh, we talked about uh, teaching styles, how professors could be better, something you could write about, and uh, student loans, right, as, as uh, another thing, another problem that you could try to solve as it relates to college. Um, so I gave you a reading that has to do with COVID and like the economy and unemployment and stuff, which I'll probably post a video about that next week. Um, but since, uh, your rough draft is due next Monday, unfortunately, I know it's kind of soon, but the semester is ending. Things are catching up with us. Um, so it's, we have to move a little quickly here. Um, but yeah, so I, I wanted to just, uh, give you some suggestions if you're interested in writing on the COVID topic. Obviously you can read that one essay that I posted for homework. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just say right now, um, that, yeah, that essay is about like unemployment and, and one thing that it does is look at what other countries did, like a lot of European countries and stuff compared to America. So if you're interested in writing on any topic of COVID, whether it's the economy or, or health stuff or, you know, testing or, or whatever it is, um, I think a good move would be to see what other countries did, um, you know, especially European countries, England, France. Um, I know there's been a lot of attention on Sweden because uh, they like didn't lock down or whatever. Um, so so yeah, I, I would look at these other countries and see like what America did compared to them. If like uh, which strategy, like which uh, uh, what, like which countries you think did it the best? Maybe things that America could still do um, to try to like make it better or whatever. Uh, but I think like looking at what other countries did uh, is always a good move. Um, but I just wanted to suggest like some things to look into if you want to go with this topic. Um, in terms of the economic stuff, obviously unemployment with that article. Um, stimulus checks would be another thing. Like like what have other countries done in terms of direct checks to people? Like I think I saw somewhere that like Canada has basically been giving people like two thousand dollars a month. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and I know um, and in that article they talk about like how European countries a lot of them like uh, replace people's wages, like the government paid people's wages instead of letting them go unemployed. So that's stuff to look into. Um, I'd be really interested to read an, an essay that like takes up the problem of uh, restaurants and bars, you know, and like what solution we could find there because it, it is like a, a pretty shitty issue, you know, and like, especially looking at like what's happening right now where, um, you know, like cases go up and obviously like people eating inside restaurants, like can't be great for that, you know? Uh, but at the same time, if you tell these places to close, like they're all going to go out of business because they don't have any money. And a lot of them already have gone out of business. Um, and I, and I don't think anyone, any, any of us want to live in a world where like the only places to go to eat are like, you know, Applebee's or fast food or whatever. And there's no like small, small business, uh, restaurants or bars and stuff. I don't think anyone wants that. Um, so it's, it's kind of this, this weird thing, um, but like, yeah, so I would love to see some kind of like solution for that um, or what other countries have done. Uh, like, you know, and, and part of it is, is that like uh, states are the ones who tell people to lock down, right? But but only really the federal government can like send people money in, in the way that, that they need it. So it's like if a state tells, uh, you know, restaurants to close and they can't provide them with the money they need to keep going, it's like, you know, what do, what do we do? So uh, whatever, but anything with that, I, I think would be interesting in terms of restaurants and bars. I think that's a big problem uh, that's going on right now. Um, also on like the, the more health side, um, it'd be interesting to read about like, you know, do, do we need to be doing more like testing and tracing? Um, should we just expect the vaccine to, to solve everything? Is that gonna happen? How long is that gonna take? Who knows? Um, so I think research into any of that stuff would be good. Um, I think I mentioned on the assignment sheet, like, you know, is six feet, like, really a thing? Like, what's, what's the science on that at this point? Um, yeah, just, like, any, any basically, uh, anything that you think uh, should be done that's not, like, currently happening. Like, I, I've heard a lot of people say that they, uh, that they think, like, you know, just having whatever people on TV tell you to wear a mask or whatever would solve it, like, you know, that if politicians had just said to everyone or, or if they came out and said now, like, hey, wear a mask, that that would solve things. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a little skeptical that people would just, you know, be like, oh, OK, this guy said it. OK, I'll, you know, or this person uh, told me to. All right, now I'll do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
but that would be interesting to look into. But yeah, basically, I, I think the main things are, are the economic stuff and then like the pure uh, health stuff. Um, so again, I would just try to be as specific as you can, find a specific problem within either of those, um, and then argue for a specific solution that you think could be done. Uh, and I think there'd be good research in looking in uh, at what other countries have done uh, for any topic here. All right, I just wanted to give you some suggestions um, because I think we're going to talk more about this next week, and I know your rough drafts are due. Uh, so any of that stuff would be good to look into as well. And then also, you know, the college stuff we've been talking about. Okay, that's all for now.